it's Angelique from Bright Spark Media. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new Facebook page. It's really easy to do and if you've already got a Facebook account you've probably seen numerous Facebook pages. This is my page for Bright Spark Media and this is the wall for my Facebook page. So you would go and sign in to your personal profile and this is my personal profile for Angelique Duffield and there's a couple of different ways you can do it. If you just go into the search bar and you can type pretty much anything in here. If you choose any page that you don't already admin, at the very top right hand side you'll see create page and you would just click on that. Another way to do it is clicking on the home button. It brings you to your news feed view. On the left hand side you'll see any pages that you admin along with all the groups and everything else. But if you go to pages, click on more, create a page shows up at the top. So just click on that and it gives you a couple of different options. So the main ones that people use for business are across the top up here. Um, I usually recommend that people pick these two here. You can actually go through and read information on each of them. But uh, a local business or place is if you have a shop front and this is where your Facebook page actually will show up with the address and uh, your business hours and things like that. Um, so that is a Facebook place page and this one here would be um, a Facebook page. Actually all the others would be pages. Now you can change back and forth. It's easier to be honest if you start with a place page and change to a basic page than it is to go the other way around. So even if you don't have um, a physical address like maybe you work from home. For, for myself I actually have um, a post box address so I use that as my address and that actually helps you get found a little bit better. It's good for local search so when people are using their mobile phones and they're looking for something nearby then they can find you more easily. So it does help a little bit with search engine optimization but it's up to you. Um, one benefit of having a page instead of a place is that it does show up at the top of a Facebook search. So like I said it doesn't actually matter because you can change later on. So let's just start with this right here. So I'm going to pick company, organization or institution and there are all sorts of options so you'll just have to go through and figure out which one makes the most sense for your business and like I said you can change them so don't worry about making a mistake with it just pick one for now and get started. So I'm doing one for our networking group so I'm just going to pick small business because that covers most of us and company name is the band networking group uh, actually, I'll tape it out. And of course, you should be reading Facebook's terms and conditions because they do have a lot of rules. I've created many pages, so I already know what it's about. And of course, I do teach Facebook, so I am fairly well versed in the rules. So it goes through, and it actually is really easy because it walks you through the whole process. So you can upload a picture here and just upload it from your computer. Um, the optimum size I think is 180 by 180 I believe. Just make sure you upload a square picture. Even if you don't you can uh, crop it and resize it. So I'm just going to skip that for the moment. So you can see you can skip any of the steps. The about section. So this is just some basic information and I would really recommend that you fill this information in. Now you can again edit all this later but the stuff in your about section shows up right on your Facebook page under your big profile picture under your cover photo and it's also searchable by Google. So try and put your keywords into your description especially in the about section. So more about that in different videos and uh, in some of the blog posts on my Facebook page. So if you add another site I would just um, skip that actually. Oh no actually I would put my website here if it was my own but this is um, a different organization so I'm going to skip that too. Again you can fill in all this information later. Uh, right here there's another thing an organization school or government so we can skip that. 
and Facebook web address. So this, I really recommend that you think about it before you set this because this web address is what will show up up here in the address bar. So if you're setting up for your business, I really recommend that you have some keywords in there. Um, mine for my business is Bright Spark Social Media, so that does help people to find me a little bit more. Um, if you've got kind of an obscure name, like I know some, I know a photographer called Blue Olive, so if they just put that in, people wouldn't really know what they're looking for so I, I it doesn't have to be your business name and it doesn't have to be just keywords you can mix them up but I recommend that you don't do this right away because you only have one chance to change this so you can skip that as well and I recommend it so you at least have a bit of time to think about it so there you go your page is already set up and it's going to even give you a little bit of a tour here so you can like your own page I would skip that for the moment. Shows you where you can say things. So this is basically just your status update. And up here, this is all your admin panel. And right here, you can see you can easily add that big panoramic cover photo. You can add your profile picture. You can go into the back end over here. And this is where you update all the information in the address, the description, and things like that of your page. So I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of this. So like I said, you don't need to worry about it. If you want to change your mind, you can change these things here too. So it does give you the same list all over again. Um, this is where you would create the username. So that's where we skip that step and I and I removed the name out of it. So just keep in mind there's there's things that people get confused. So the username, that is the URL that shows up right up here in the address bar. And that is something that people would type in. So it would be facebook.com, pages. You can see right now I've just got a big long number. So that's not very easy for people to remember. But I have it for my own and it will be facebook.com forward slash bright spark social media. And I can put that on my business card in my email signature and it's really easy for people to find me. So the name, this is called the page name, and this you can change um, any number of times up until you have, I believe, a hundred fans. Um, after that, then it does lock it in. You can make a request with Facebook if you wanted to change it. Maybe you've made a, a spelling mistake or your company's changed names or you want to use keywords in it, then you do have an opportunity to change it. So again, you just fill in all the information here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And in some other videos, um, I do go through and show you some of the different features. And you can always go to Facebook Help. They've got a really good help section over here, and they've got videos that walk you through how to set up different parts of your Facebook page. And there's lots of tips on there, as well as on my website at brightsparkmedia.ca. Thanks.